Open Ag is changing education. As a STEM school, we are always excited to tackle relevant engineering challenges, like the food server and computer, that have wide-reaching potential. So, when we began to brainstorm what multidisciplinary project we would work on this year, Open Ag was at the top of our list. My name is Ms. Munich, and I'm the engineering teacher at Idea Ventures Academy. Our 4th through 8th graders have been uh, constructing a food server, and our 4th and 5th graders in particular uh, have made the structure, the exterior structure. And they'd like to show you a little bit about what they've learned. I learned that manufacturing companies make errors. I learned how to interpret design manuals. I learned how to put together a panel. I learned how to put together a new um, uh, rod. I learned that a one inch problem could throw off the whole structure. I learned how to work with people. I learned how you can use large aluminum rods to put together a structure like this. I learned about how many problems there can be when you're engineering something. You can have a they will plan to grow smaller plants so you can have a higher concentration and they'll also need less plumbing. But the water will cycle through them to keep the cool water flowing. So that the water will always be at the right temperature and it can get aerated down here. And it's also easier for maintenance so you don't have to take the large bins. Our power supply and our lighting that would be used to the plants grow. We basically have lighting inside. And we actually reused uh, com Dell computer supplies and wired our own LED strips. Yes, and what I've learned, I've learned a lot about teamwork, honestly, because we've had to work in, in groups to get the lights and the humidifier and, and the, and the um, carbon dioxide tank working. So honestly, I have to say, yeah, it's teamwork. <laughs> So I think a lot of students underestimate plants, and one of my pet missions is to make them appreciate plants more, how alive they are. And so I feel that this project lets them see a plant from beginning to end, um, and in the long term, because we can manipulate the conditions so precisely, it lets you experiment uh, with all the biotic and abiotic factors that plants need to grow and thrive. For our project, we we tried to see if plants would be able to grow in a sponge, but also we tested a rock wall material and soil as controls. So we noticed that the rock wall material actually causes them to grow slightly faster, it looks like, and also more of them grew in that than in the soil. Hopefully the food server will provide 30% uh, of the food. Uh, well, green food like uh, lettuce and spinach or whatever. Um, I'm very excited for that, but if we do have any excess food, um, it would be amazing to see it go to a homeless shelter.